The Category 4 storm Hurricane Barrel is just hours away from making landfall on a series of islands, including Grenada and Barbados. Thanks for joining us for 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. In Barbados, the people there are boarding up and getting ready. Barbados, along with several other islands, are all under a hurricane warning. Residents there are at gas stations, filling up their cars, and hitting the stores to stock up on those necessary supplies. We open about half an hour earlier this morning to accommodate the rush. And they have been buying generators, five pound, bu five pound buckets, um, everything you can think about they're getting. And government officials for the islands being threatened are pleading with residents to take shelter. And 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters, so meteorologist Colleen Campbell joins us now with the absolute latest on this storm. Colleen? Yeah, Miranda, we have the 11 o'clock update that just came in. This storm is about 200 miles to 150 miles away from the Windward Islands. There is a hurricane warning in effect for Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Gren and the Grenadine Islands, as well as Grenadine. Grenada and Tobago. Uh, a tropical storm warning does exist for Martinique, Trinidad, and um, a tropical storm watch is in effect for Dominica and portions of Dominican Republic and Haiti. That was the most recently added. So let's get to the track of this system so you can see that it is going to make an approach for the Windward Islands as a category four storm. Since the latest update, 11 o'clock to uh, the eight o'clock update earlier today the pressure did not drop so that's a good sign because when the pressure drops that means the storm is getting uh, stronger and the winds have been pretty consistent at 130 miles per hour it will continue to trek into the caribbean move south of haiti and dominican republic as a category four storm and then it's going to continue its journey west as a category two south of jamaica and then we're going to see it move towards the yucatan peninsula likely weakening once it goes over land to a tropical storm status. Also, we have a new update here. This just in minutes ago, uh, tropical depression now turned into tropical storm Chris. So we now have our third named system of the Atlantic tropical storm season. June's not even over yet. July begins tomorrow. But again, we just got our third system that formed Tropical Storm Chris that is in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico at this time. Miranda.